What's up, Star Wars fans? Hope you're all doing really, really well. It's uh, It's been a couple of weeks since I've checked in and dropped a video. I did a podcast, did episode four, about two, almost two weeks ago. Uh, I will have another episode up this weekend, so stay tuned for that. I'm very, very much, ex very excited to sit down and, and talk some Star Wars again, so stay tuned this weekend. But uh, I've been on a bit of an SH figure arts kick lately over the last few weeks. It's been a quiet couple of weeks. I'm just more so just waiting on some new Black Series stuff to come in the mail. Uh, the old mailman's taking his time bringing a few things, but uh, got, I've got lots of cool stuff on the way. This is one I've been looking forward to sharing. Um, I've been taking some shots, did some did some cool shots uh, recently on my Instagram. I did a I did a pretty cool recreation using this figure and the and the uh, figure arts uh, last Jedi Ray. I did the uh, throne room scene. So that was that was a lot of fun to set up. Tested my patience, of course, but uh, yeah, I think it had a pretty good outcome. And this is this is a good figure. So I'm definitely looking forward to sharing this one. Get a nice close-up look. I hope that lights okay. Might just try and shuffle that around a little bit. There we go, that looks a bit better. Again, Bandai seem to be pretty good most of the time at doing the sort of face tech that uh, the paint digital paint apps that Hasbro now have now adopted uh, over the last few months but uh, yeah Bandai with the uh, SH figure arts there's certainly been a couple that have been a bit hit and miss um, for the most part I think they've been pretty pretty solid uh, there's an Anakin coming out very soon. It's a little bit, yeah, we could use some work. So I'm, I'm, I'd like to get the figure, but I'll wait to see some people and wait to see some reviews of, of it in hand before I make that, before I take that plunge. And the Obi-Wan coming too. It'd be a good opportunity for Hasbro to to throw, throw out a new version of Episode 3 Obi-Wan as well. But this is the figure I'm talking about right now. Uh, he comes with an assortment of swappable hands, which is always always a good thing. So I'll just put him aside for the second. If he stands. There you get a pair of a pair of close fists. I'm pretty sure I've got them all. I've got all my sort of import accessories in a little tray together so I'm pretty sure I got them all it's a couple of sort of semi closed hands there and I've just dropped one of them I'll get that after this sort of semi force hand which pairs up with that one there and a couple of these I sort of open force push hands other accessory wise he comes with his lightsaber hilt nicely detailed now this is the one with the peg that sort of pegs onto the side of his belt so you can display that way we have here the lit lightsaber that he has in his hand and you also have the just the standard unlit hilt without the peg so plenty of options for display <clears throat> now including this pretty damn awesome like Adam Driver looking head sculpt you can remove it and uh, you know the head removes from the neck but this one for this one it's sort of the neck's the one bit you want to move, remove because you got this uh, the masked Kylo helmet with the sort of painted neck and it sort of sits in there pretty good it looks pretty nice too um, the only fig thing this figure is really missing is a cape so if you wanted to display him like this, he's sort of missing that cape. But that's okay. And if you've got the uh, Force Awakens version as well, you'd probably display him helmetless anyway. I didn't pop that in properly. A 
but it's, it's pretty nice. It's got a nice sort of matte finish to it as opposed to you know, quite quite a glossy look that some of the other figures have got. I have the Force Awakens, Mafex, Kylo Ren. And uh, there's good 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 detail on that helmet, but it's probably not it's probably a little bit more black than this. It's a bit less sort of worn looking. But I'm a massive fan of Kylo Ren's helmet. I think it looks so good. Uh, pop the other head back on. So I'm going to try and get a closer look. You can see the scar running down the side of the face. Real nice detail. The robes look good. A sort of tunic thing, I guess. And these are good figures for really posing up. Um, so you sort of sacrifice a little bit of sculpt, so like through the through the shoulder here. You sacrifice a lot of sculpt for good articulation, good posing, posability. So you can get the arms to really move a lot nicer. It just makes the uh, outfit look a little bit, a little bit out of place. But you know, there's plenty of other figures you can get to replicate that. Boots look good. Straps up the top, down the bottom. Articulation's pretty solid on this one. I don't know. I don't know all the articulation, but it's got it's got all the points you need. Um, and it's it's just really good throughout. Um, again, with some of the joints, they do sort of tend to pop out, not as much as some of the other figures. I know the episode one Obi one that I have. If you pose him too much, his uh, joints pop out, but they're easy, easily pop back together. But this is a this is a good figure. I've got sort of set up with Ray, and I've got two of the Praetorian guards as well. So they're sort of back to back fighting a couple of Praetorian guards, which looks pretty good on display at the moment. So definitely recommend this one. I got this one from. If I just bring up the website on my phone, figurecentral.com.au. Let's put it up on the screen there. And there's me in the reflection. Uh, <laughs> uh, if we go back across. And they do have a bit of a deal. 10% off your first order. Use the promo code figure it out. We've got a lot of import stuff. Free standard shipping anywhere in Australia. Which is great. So yeah, jump on there particularly for Aussie friends, jump jump in there and have a look around. There are all sorts of stuff on there, good import stuff. Plenty of choices, good prices. And that 10% off, which is definitely a big bonus as well. Anyway guys, I'll wrap that up. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from everyone about the uh, when I drop my next episode of the podcast. That will be up this weekend. I'm not sure what time. Well, it depends on how long it takes to edit and uh, upload. So until then, may the force be with you guys.